dear students under the topic radius of curvature here we have a problem on evolute the question is show that the evolute of the cycloid x equal to a multiplied with theta minus sin theta y equals a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta is another cycloid so now in order to show that the evolute of this cycloid is another cycloid first of all we should find the center of curvature of the given cycloid because we know that the locus of the curve traced by the center of curvature is the evolute of the curve so now in order to find the evolute first step is we have to find the center of curvature for the given cycloid so what is the formula for the center of curvature it is given by the x coordinate of the center of curvature is given by capital x is equal to x minus y1 multiplied with 1 plus y1 square divided by y2 so this is capital x and capital y is given by y equals y plus 1 plus y1 square divided by y2 so these are the coordinates for the center of curvature so first we have to find these two and then the locus traced by these two will give us the evolute of the given curve that is given cycloid but what is this y1 and y2 y1 is the first derivative of y with respect to x and y2 is equal to the second derivative of y with respect to x but here the parametric equation of the cycloid is given so in order to find dy by dx first we should do it by dy by dx will be equal to we have to first differentiate uh, x and y with respect to theta and then substitute here that is dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta so let us as the first step let us find dx by d theta and dy by d theta of the given curves that is of the given cycloid and then we shall substitute that over here in order to find dy by dx and after finding dy by dx that will be our y1 and from that when we differentiate it again with respect to x we get d squared y by dx square which is y2 and after finding y1 and y2 we shall substitute y1 and y2 in this formula that is the formula for center of curvature so let us start that now so first of all let us take and write the given curves so it is given that x is equal to a multiplied with theta minus sin theta and it is also given that y is equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta now let us differentiate x and y with respect to theta so when we differentiate x with respect to theta what we get is dx by d theta is equal to so now we have to differentiate this with respect to theta a is a constant which is in multiplication so it will come as it is multiplied with the differentiation of theta is 1 because we are differentiating it this with respect to theta the differentiation is 1 minus the differentiation of sine theta is cos theta now we shall differentiate y okay differentiating y with respect to theta so what do we get dy by d theta is equal to so again a is a constant which is in multiplication so a multiplied with differentiation of 1 is 0 and minus what is the differentiation of cos theta differentiation of cos theta with respect to theta is negative sine theta and that negative gets multiplied with this negative and it becomes positive and we have sine theta and therefore dy by d theta will be equal to a sine theta now as the next step we are we have to find dy by dx so as i told you before what is dy by dx 
it is equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. So now we shall substitute that here. So what is dy by d theta? We have found it as, we have got it as a sin theta. So let us substitute that here. So a sin theta divided by, what is dx by d theta? It is a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta. So this a and a gets cancelled and we get this to be sin theta by 1 minus cos theta. We can simplify this by using a trigonometric identity. We know that by a trigonometric identity, 1 minus cos theta is equal to twice sin squared theta by 2. So always remember 1 minus cos theta is equal to twice sin squared theta by 2. In our previous video lectures, I have already said you how we have got this by using the cos 2 theta formula. So you can go through that to understand how we got this formula. You can directly also remember this as a formula that is always remember 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 sin squared theta by 2. So now we shall use this formula over here. So this will be equal to sin theta divided by what is 1 minus cos theta? 2 sin squared theta by 2. So 2 sin squared theta by 2. Also, we will be changing the numerator because we are having the angle here as theta by 2. And here we have the angle theta. So, we will be using the formula which is sin theta is equal to 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. This is because we know that sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta. That is the formula we have. Now, because we need sin theta, the angle has to be divided by 2. So, 2 theta by 2 will be theta and the formula changes like this. So, 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. You can either remember in that way or you directly remember as a formula that always sin theta is equal to 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. So, now we shall substitute this also in the numerator. So therefore, dy by dx will be equal to, so instead of sin theta, we will replace it by this. So it will be 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2, the whole divided by, so in the denominator, here what do we have? 2 sin squared theta by 2, so let us write that. So 2 sin squared theta by 2. Now this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. 1 of the sin theta by 2 gets cancelled and we have cos theta by 2 divided by sin theta by 2. But what is cos by sin? It is cot. So this becomes cot theta by 2. So therefore dy by dx is equal to cot theta by 2 or in other words y1 is equal to so y1 because we know that dy by dx is y1 and in the formula we have y1 so we will write it like this so y1 is equal to cot theta by 2 so from this y1 we have to find y2 by further differentiating this with respect to x so let us do that now so I have taken dy by dx is equal to cot theta by 2 and I have written here. Now we shall differentiate this further with respect to x again. So differentiating with respect to x. So what do we get? d squared y by dx square is equal to what is the differentiation of cot? It is negative cosecant square. So cot theta by 2 when differentiated will give us negative cosecant squared theta by 2 and we have to further differentiate this by using the chain rule method multiplied with this uh, constant 1 by 2 we have so we should multiply with that constant 1 by 2 multiplied with the differentiation of theta which is d theta by dx because we are differentiating with respect to x we should write d theta by dx but what is this d theta by dx Previously, we have found dx by d theta. 
okay dx by d theta what is that a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta now this we have to substitute there but we have d theta by dx so we should take the reciprocal of this and we have to substitute so we have to substitute 1 by a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta in this place so it will become which is equal to negative 1 by 2 cosecant squared theta by 2 multiplied with 1 divided by a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta so now in this we shall um, uh, change this 1 minus cos theta how we will change it already i told you in the previous steps the formula for 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin squared theta by 2 so let us replace that 1 minus cos theta with this formula so we will be replacing it with 2 sin squared theta by 2 so this has to be replaced with 2 sin squared theta by 2 so it's equal to negative 1 by 2 cosecant squared theta by 2 multiplied with 1 by a what is this 1 minus cos theta it is 2 sin squared theta by 2 so that is further equal to we can rewrite this how we will rewrite we can rewrite cosecant squared theta by 2 as 1 by sin squared theta by 2 because we know that cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sin theta by the trigonometric identity so this will be negative 1 by 2 multiplied with so this becomes 1 by sin squared theta by 2 multiplied with 1 by this 2a is the constant sin squared theta by 2 so combining everything we can write this as equal to negative 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 so 1 divided by 4 a sin squared theta by 2 multiplied with sin squared theta by 2 the power gets added up and it becomes sin to the power 4 theta by 2 so this is y2 so we have found y1 and we have found y2 now we have to substitute this y1 and y2 in the formula for center of curvature and we have to find the coordinates capital X and capital Y. So let us do that now. So what is the center of curvature formula? Capital X is equal to this. So let us take and write this. So I have written here. All, already I have uploaded the formula list. You can also check that for your reference. So now capital X is equal to this. So what will be capital X? So it will be equal to capital X is equal to what is the coordinate X? It is the it is this X which is given in the question that is X is equal to A multiplied with theta minus sine theta. So that we have to substitute here. So A multiplied with theta minus sine theta minus y1 what is y1 we have obtained y1 to be cot theta by 2 so this we have to substitute there so cot theta by 2 multiplied with 1 plus y1 square y1 is cot theta by 2 so y1 squared will be cot squared theta by 2 divided by y2 what is y2 y2 we have obtained here that is this is y2 so now this we have to substitute it is negative 1 by 4a sine power 4 theta by 2 so negative 1 by 4a sine power 4 theta by 2 so this is our uh, y2 so that we have substituted now we shall simplify this so this will be further equal to so x will be equal to this we shall have as it is so a multiplied with theta minus sin theta minus cot theta by 2 multiplied with now 1 plus cot squared theta by 2 by using the trigonometric identity we know that this is equal to cosecant squared theta by 2 so multiplied with cosecant squared theta by 2 and then this negative and this negative gets multiplied and it becomes positive so we have to write positive here 
so positive cot theta by 2 and 1 plus cot square theta by 2 is cosecant theta by 2 square theta by 2 and the denominator of the denominator will become the numerator so multiplied with 4 uh, this 4a sine power 4 theta by 2 will go to the numerator because it is the denominator of the denominator so it will be 4a sine to the power 4 theta by 2 in the next step what we will be doing is we know that cosecant squared theta by 2 is equal to 1 by sine squared theta by 2 because cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sine theta so by using that trigonometric identity we will rewrite this so this will be x equal to a multiplied with theta minus sine theta plus cot theta by 2 multiplied with now sine square cosecant square theta by 2 can be written as 1 by sine squared theta by 2 multiplied with 4a sine to the power 4 theta by 2. So from this we can cancel sine squared theta by 2 and here the power reduces as already power is 4. So to uh, sine squared theta by 2 gets cancelled with this so we will have another one square alone. So we will be left out with 4a sine squared theta by 2. In the next step what we will do is we will change this cot theta by 2 as cos theta by 2 divided by sin theta by 2 because we know that cot theta is equal to cos by sin by using the trigonometric identity x will be equal to a multiplied with theta minus the, uh, sin theta plus cot can be written as cos theta by 2 divided by sin theta by 2 multiplied with 4a sin squared theta by 2 actually i am substituting uh, each one in uh, two or three steps but you can do it at a stretch in one step itself i am not doing so because i want you to understand this problem better so i am first i am doing the sub uh, i am changing this as a one by sin and in the next step i am changing this as cos by sin you can do at the same time and you can cancel it that's not at all an issue but i am doing it step by step because i want you to understand it so uh, this now this sin theta by 2 and square one of the uh, sin theta by 2 will get cancelled and it will be only sin theta by 2 so finally we will be left out with x equal to a multiplied with theta minus sin theta plus now here this 4a we can write here so 4a cos theta by 2 sin theta by 2 now i will rewrite this in a, in a way that we can make a substitution of another formula over here so now i have taken that and i have written here so capital x will be equal to a multiplied with theta minus sin theta plus this 4a i am writing as 2a so that i am i am writing the remaining 2 along with this so that 2 sin theta by 2 and then cos theta by 2 i am writing in this manner because i can make a substitution here of a formula the formula is this so i can make it as sin theta is equal to 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 so this 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 can be written as sin theta so in order to write it as sin theta only i am i am rewriting that it uh, rewriting it as uh, uh, rewriting it in this manner so 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 can be written as sin theta so this can be written as sin theta so capital x will be equal to a theta now i'm multiplying this a with this theta minus this a with sin theta so sin theta plus this 2a i'm writing as it is now this i'm changing as sin theta now this negative uh, so we have so if you see i multiplied this a with this sin theta and this should be a sin theta okay so here a sin theta so a theta minus a sin theta plus 2a this turns to be sin theta now 2a sin theta minus a sin theta will become a sin theta so capital x will be equal to a theta minus 
a i mean uh, this is plus so plus a sin theta now what is common in these two a is common so a multiplied with theta plus sin theta so therefore capital x will be equal to a multiplied with theta plus sin theta so this is the x coordinate that we have obtained in center of curvature in a similar manner we have to find the y coordinate for the center of curvature and we already saw that the y coordinate is given by the formula by this formula y is equal to y plus 1 plus y1 square divided by y2 so from this y will be equal to what is this small y we have to take this from the given question that is in the question y is given as a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta so we have to substitute this over there so it will be a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta plus 1 plus y1 square what is y1 we have already obtained y1 to be equal to cot theta by 2 so this we have to substitute for y1 so y1 is cot theta by 2 here we have y1 square so it should be cot square theta by 2 divided by y2 what is y2 y2 already we have obtained and it is here y2 is equal to negative 1 by 4a sine power 4 theta by 2 so this we have to substitute for y2 so it is negative 1 by 4a sine power 4 theta by 2 so instead of y2 i have written it as negative 1 by 4a sine power 4 theta by 2 in its place now let us simplify this so from this we obtain y to be equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta now this plus and this minus gets multiplied and it becomes minus and this 1 plus cot square theta by 2 by using the trigonometric identity it becomes cosecant squared theta by 2 because we know that 1 plus cot squared theta is cosecant squared theta so 1 plus cot squared theta by 2 will be cosecant squared theta by 2 multiplied with this uh, 1 by 4a sine power 4 theta by 2 which is the denominator of the denominator will be will uh, will become the numerator so multiplied with 4a sine power 4 theta by 2 in the next step we shall replace this cosecant squared theta by 2 by 1 by sine squared theta by 2 because we know that cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sine theta by the trigonometric identity so y is equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta minus this can be written as 1 by sine squared theta by 2 multiplied with 4a sine to the power 4 theta by 2 now the sine squared theta by 2 gets cancelled with sine power 4 is here so one of the uh, square term gets cancelled and remaining will be 2 here so sine squared theta by 2 will be left out so this will be equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta minus of now uh, this has got cancelled and so it will be 4a sine squared theta by 2 further i can rewrite this as y equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta minus i am rewriting this as 2a multiplied with 2 sine squared theta by 2 i am writing it in this manner because i can substitute this 2 sine squared theta by 2 as 1 minus cos theta because of uh, because of the trigonometric formula which i have already showed you that is this formula here we have 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 square sine squared theta by 2 now what i can do i can replace 2 sine squared theta by 2 as 1 minus cos theta in order to do so i have rewritten the rewritten the given uh, that the one we got so i have rewritten it as 2 sine squared theta by 2 so now this 2 sine squared theta by 2 can be replaced as what? 1 minus cos theta.
So this two sine squared theta by two that we have can be replaced as one minus cos theta. So let me do that. So this is equal to a multiplied with one minus cos theta minus two a multiplied with one minus cos theta. Now we can further simplify. A multiplied with one is equal to a. A multiplied with negative cos theta is negative a cos theta. Minus 2a multiplied with 1 is 2a, and this minus into minus will become plus 2a multiplied with cos theta is 2a cos theta. So further, this can be written as what is a minus 2a? It is minus a, and minus a cos theta plus 2a cos theta will become plus a cos theta. So this is y. So now in this I can take that negative a outside. So I will be getting y to be equal to negative a. If I take it out, it will be one minus cos theta. So this is the y. So we have obtained y. So here we have obtained x to be equal to what? A multiplied with theta plus sine theta. So let me take and write that here. So x is equal to a multiplied with theta plus sine theta, and what is y? Y is equal to negative a multiplied with one minus cos theta. Now we observe that this is also the parametric equation of a cycloid. So, so therefore, the evolute of the cycloid is again a cycloid. So this is. Also, a cycloid. So therefore, the evolute of the given cycloid is again a cycloid. So we have proved the required result. That is, we have proved that the evolute of the given cycloid is another cycloid, which is what we have obtained. That is, this. We have obtained it as another cycloid. So hope you have understood the uh, this problem. This is an important question, uh, which has appeared in many previous year question papers. It's a fifteen mark question. Thank you.